Yeah, that's where I can use this. Oh. Sorry, Jake. What? I forgot my razor. Figure it the f out. I saw you. Don't talk to you. Boot. Where the f is your rifle? Hey, what's up, Sarn? What's up, dude? Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the M4 qualification on account of. You see my toe? I stubbed it really bad, Sarn. What? And you know, my girl, she's she's pregnant now. I want to be a dad, Sarn. Also, Sarn, I think I I think I need to go talk to CID. There's there was this girl on on Facebook, you know, she hit me up and more. I mean, I couldn't say no. What? Yo, Sarn, is it hot in here? Or, or what? You can't be serious. Medic. You that sick, all Sarn? All right, y'all, welcome back to Commodore Arms Channel. Okay, so of course it is October, which means it is Halloween month all month if you guys are new to the channel basically that means i'm going to have like a costume or you know like a themed intro every video and i have a lot of fun in october a lot have a lot of fun coming up with these random little skits throwing on as much like gear or stupid stuff i can put on real quick and uh yeah it's, it's always a good time so hopefully you guys enjoy the intros but today we have a cool video nonetheless so this is about the u.s army's opposing force elements out in germany so i guess these guys basically support nato training and they act as the bad guys for these nato training exercises which sounds pretty dope i mean it sounds like a pretty cool job having been stationed at fort polk previously i know all about like the dedicated opposing force elements and those guys they're pretty good at what they do. I got to say, they piss a lot of people off. And I wonder if these guys are kind of on that same level. But it should be cool. I didn't, I didn't even know these guys existed until I saw this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. My scout platoon from 1-4 Infantry, they have a reputation of a of mythical creature that sneaks up at night and takes things off the battlefield or uh, detains personnel. Uh -huh. There is a thrill to being the bad guy. For every NATO exercise, you have two. Dude, and that's true. If you guys have ever been like the op four for any sort of exercise, it is probably the most fun you can have because you usually steer away from like more of the traditional tactics and you kind of just, you know, you kind of just send it, which is a lot of fun. It's kind of like organized sending it. I still have some clips from when I was doing like some op four stuff, but I gotta say, yeah, it, it's probably some of the most fun you can have. <laughs> in like a combat arms element kind of being that opposing force and just kind of breaking the rules a little bit which just feels kind of good when you're kind of stuck in that structure for most of your career sides played by nato allies and partners you have the good guys and then you have the opposing force or op four they're the hmm. bad guys damn okay for this music i'm here at hohenfels training area in southern germany home of the U.S. Army's 1st Battalion, 4th Infantry Regiment, or 1-4. 1-4 is infamous throughout NATO for providing... 
Yeah, I'm liking how they have like the, the black uniforms, but also like the tiger stripe. That's pretty consistent for lots of, I, I think even the Marine Corps uses a tiger stripe for their, their, their op four, which I think is more of like a relatively new unit. Like the Marine Corps has like their own dedicated op four now. Uh, of course, if I'm wrong on that, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see the unique uniforms these guys rock. Having a bracingly realistic training experience. Uh, these guys are pretty good at what they do. Join me as I try to get inside the mindset of 1-4. He's got ear pro for blanks. The opposing force. Interesting. <laughs> I, I guess I can't blame him if he's not used to it. Welcome to Hohenfels, home base for 1-4. I'll be joining them for 24 hours to see how they test NATO allies in an exercise scenario. Only 24 hours? First stop is to get some new threats. And then this just goes... Clip it. Clip there. it to here. Oh my gosh. Got it. The okay, Molly cool. is Thank such you. a nightmare, dude. Just got signed. It's okay. like the opposite of ergonomic. All right, cool. I didn't accidentally just enlist in the U.S. Army, did I? No, you didn't. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. good. Then you have I the Op 4 that has to live in the field. With 1-4 scouts. A platoon notorious for being somewhat creative in their methods. Hmm. I mean, scouts in and of themselves can get pretty creative. Having been in the, the recce platoon in my infantry battalion, I got to say the scouts can definitely get pretty creative in how they do things, how they move around. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're good, if you have kind of good field craft, then yeah, you can you can ruin a lot of people's day kind of doing what you're doing. Hey, but at the end of the day, it's kind of all about testing their capabilities, testing their discipline, testing their you know command and control. Uh, and these guys probably definitely do that. Our day-to-day -day job is to be an adversary for ground forces in Europe, driving our allies to think and develop techniques to be better prepared for a, a real adversary if it ever came to that. Hmm. Our mission, Word. sneak up on a NATO airfield and observe its helicopters without being detected by any of the guards. Damn, that sounds fun, dude. The tiger stripe works well enough. <laughs> the, We're trying to stay notebook. concealed so they can make a sketch of the airfield. I mean, it's kind of like a really intense game of hide and go seek. Damn, We're sitting here there's not a whole lot of- Watching them and they have no idea we're here. Not a lot of standoff for that airfield. What in tarnation? What is he even drawing? He's got a whole ass notebook too. I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen someone in the field carrying like a whole like eight and a half by eleven notebook or something. He's I mean it's not the worst artwork I've seen. With the sketch complete, it was time to make a stealthy retreat. <laughs> Go through like an open area. <laughs> When we heard a convoy of Humvees approaching, we had to dive for cover. Oh snap. So right now there are dudes like 10 meters away in that direction. So we're just doing our best impersonation of a potted plant and staying as still as we can. Uh-huh. No then, face paint on at all. Struck. <laughs> I was spotted funny. by one of the guards. It was a face paint, man. While the rest of the team had made a clean getaway, I was stuck. Bruh. I don't know what to do. Right like, now. now comes the waterboarding. <laughs> and help came in the form of an American transport plane. Just make a break for it. I used the noise to cover my escape. Mission complete. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, the, the element got compromised. And I don't know why they weren't just like, detaining him or, or something for questioning. But I guess if they did get a sketch and then got out of there, then I guess it's pretty successful. Until I saw the disappointed faces of the scouts. Huh? Did you stop when I called out? Yeah, but then when the planes came over, we split. Okay, Roger. Yeah, they uh, they heard one of us when we got close. They, they called out a halt and then we just kept moving. But um, if you want, I'll send you the pictures and, and sketches we took. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, we learned something. They were alert. They heard us coming. And um, 
I don't want to say I compromised the team, but I probably compromised the team. He's never going to leave the wire ego, without facing Feeling like now. a liability. I realized I still had a lot to learn about what it takes to play the opposing force. Hmm. I have learned exponentially from allies across Europe uh, in this job. We learn a lot about how we communicate, what's more important to our formations. The winning really comes in the readiness built um, from our NATO alliance here. Uh, when you come to train, uh, you will be better prepared uh, and ultimately be able to deter an adversary when you go back to your home station. So, real quick, because we have a really ad hoc team. Oh, nice jacket. Back at Forward headquarters, the scouts here. are getting ready for a night mission. I'm going to tag along and see what they can do under the cover of darkness. So what we're going to do tonight is we call it, uh, it's part of our Special Purpose Forces mission. We're going to go out and conduct raids and attempt to capture valuable assets of the enemy. We're trying to catch people while they're... Okay, now I'm curious what the heck they're doing. Okay, so our raid, generally speaking, is going to be some high-speed guys going in, grabbing a high-value target or something, and then bouncing. Or, you know, schwacking somebody, I guess. But so with these guys, as, as an op four... I mean, I'm four. I've ne I've never seen them actually conduct like raids. At least they never did it for us, which I mean, I was kind of grateful for, I guess. I mean, I was also in recon, so like if our recon element got raided in our hide site, then uh, <laughs> we were we must have been really bad. Yeah, I'm interested to see what they're actually going after. I don't think they'll snatch up a person, but maybe like doing some sabotage stuff or <laughs> grabbing someone's radio <laughs> and making the commander freak out. We're trying to catch people while they're sleeping. And, and test who's actually out there pulling guard. And if they're not, we're, we're gonna punish their leadership by taking key assets off the battlefield. Having been spotted What earlier, does that mean though? I needed man. all the help I could get in staying out of sight, even in the dark. This is gonna be interesting. Um, so the key with applying camo face paint is to break up the form and shape of your face. So we have cheekbones, we have the high points and low points, jaws. Um, nose, ears. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dark colors on the parts of our face that are most likely to reflect. There we go. So that's like the high points of your face. Okay. Basically fill in, <laughs> fill in all the spots. Cool. You look mean. That's the idea. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> you look pretty good, actually. Yeah. Good. It, yeah, it's meant to break up the face of the human and now he's just in... Uh, Okay. I mean, there's not really any like lighter colors or anything, dude. So, I mean, your face is still kind of there. It's just darker now. Okay. I mean, whatever. Right? It looks cool. It's intimidating, especially when somebody just has like super dark face paint on and then you just see like the whites of their eyes, <laughs> especially if you're looking in the tree line and you see that. <laughs> you look pretty good, actually. Yeah. Good. yeah. Right. Got my night optics sorted out, got my face painted, bags in the truck. We will oh, be dude. out all night seeing how well everybody has set security. So who's on moving the menu with for I want to see his movement. So we have a, I believe it's, it's a Romanian Burdum, just off this tree line right here. We're going to pull up and we're going to capture it. All right. Let's see what happens. They're just driving the, the vehicle up. Here, y'all can dismount real quick. Oh, bro. Okay. Yeah, let's roll. Damn, it looks like some pretty... However, when we reached a position manned by Romanian infantry, 1-4 were in for a disappointment. Okay, so we found some Romanians, and these guys were getting ready to take them out, but they noticed that the Romanians were manning their posts. They were paying attention, so they figured, not worth it. Good for the hey. Romanians. Oh, yeah. You know, it's Good raining, stuff, Romania. It's, raining, it's cold all day, but... All the same, they're alert, they're vigilant. So good for NATO. Yeah, I was kind of impressed After when I worked hours, with them. We found a new target, a U.S. artillery battery that didn't seem well guarded. Bro, what do you mean? There's nothing. In true Bro. bad guy fashion, they tricked the sleeping guard into thinking we were part of his unit. Is this Rios? What's up? Is this Rios? Rios? Yeah, my bad. Is this Rios? I think I woke up the wrong person. Yeah, it's not a snack. My bad, Sarn. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, my bad, Sarn. And dude's already like, okay, uh, it's just some some stupid private. You know, he got lost, whatever. Too easy. Dude, that's that's pretty smart. And that acting, 
Dude, that acting is uh, kind of scary. It's pretty good. Do you know where Rios is at? There is no specialist Rios. This guard and his artillery have just been captured. Bruh. These late night raids are not always appreciated, but rules are okay. rules. Okay. Should these nice. troopers be called upon to defend the Alliance in an actual conflict, they won't likely make this mistake again. And they're Americans, huh? Good grief. Come on, Americans. Being the bad guy isn't easy. But after 24 hours, I understood how crucial they are to improving NATO's forces. Probably just the alliance hours? is strong today. It'll be Jeez. stronger tomorrow. Um, and that is because they do show up to this rotation to build readiness and be prepared. And the more prepared they are, the more deterrence capability that they have, and the more assurance that we have across our allies. And this is where those relationships are built. Just pissing people off and stealing their their arty systems and their people. <laughs> I mean, it is good fun after the fact when you start talking about all the stories and you finally get that dude who got snatched up and he's just like, you know what? I wasn't complaining because they they put me in their truck. We were listening to like, I don't know what are the what are the kids listen to now? Taylor Swift, listening to a little Swifty, and then yeah, they brought me back and there was some AC. Yeah, they probably weren't complaining at all. <laughs> yeah, this was cool. Again, it is super valuable to have like a dedicating opposing force because they really get to kind of understand how certain countries operate, you know, what tactics they use, what formations they use, what equipment they have. They know what's kind of important or what's valuable and they can kind of exploit that, whether it be going after things that won't necessarily be as guarded or going after those things that are pretty high value and then kind of exploiting it when, you know, there's not as much security. But I got to say, that was uh, pretty creative. I haven't seen it like that. Again, I do have some clips of me kind of going against the app 4 and also being out 4 myself. So, I don't know, I'll throw that in the video and the intro or maybe even now or something. Safe to kill. I'm not dead. But yeah, it's um, it's always a good time to be able to do op four, and it is cool. And these guys are kind of lucky to be in a unit that's just like a dedicated op four, because all the guys that I've talked to that just did dedicated op four, like they they loved it. Some of them, some of them were really cool. Most of them were really cool. Some of them, oh my gosh, some of them are kind of like dweebish, you know, like kind of egotistical. But I mean, it is what it is. Maybe I was just butthurt because we got killed by a chemical attack. Even though it didn't even target me, it was targeting another company and we were just downwind, which was just nonsense. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys have any other videos out there showing like dedicating opposing force, especially from like other countries, that'd be cool to check out, kind of see how they do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, sometimes they get some pretty solid resources, so they can be, it can be a pretty scary element. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Regardless, if you have anything to recommend, throw it down below. And, uh, of course, uh, stay tuned for the Halloween intros. Uh, hopefully I can get creative. This, the, the one I did today was, was pretty fun, I got to say. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully you guys are too. But that is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one.